yeah you are, it's your girl, better than her. And for today's video, mga girls, finally, finally, matagal ko na talaga gusto gawin to. Like, I've always wanted to do a mukbang in my channel kasi A, may rason ako para kumain ng marami, and B, I can eat what I want and what I'm craving at the moment, which I'm craving for today is sushi! So again nga mga curls, we're gonna be having a sushi mukbang, seafood sushi mukbang, whatever you wanna call it. Like bitch, I've been craving for sushi and I have here, this is from Kimono Ken, like I swear, if you're gonna buy sushi, buy the platter, yung oishi platter ng Kimono Ken. <laughs> bitch, it's like so good. And gusto ko talaga, they provided like seven chopsticks, which I'm the only one who's gonna eat this, so yeah. So again nga mga curls, in this mukbang, the topic is basically my hormones update and also my transition journey update. It's been 10 months since I've been taking hormones. And as a first timer, I'm gonna be answering some questions. Because I post on Instagram na send some questions regarding my hormones update. What do you guys wanna know? What do you experience ko? So this is gonna be a very juicy ass vlog, okay? And of course, Mel Cross, in case you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you're always notified. And lastly, Mel Cross, I'll be leaving all my social media links over here. So without further ado, Mal curls. Let's get started. All right, Mal curls. So we have the sushi in front of me here, and also I just want to share. Since we're in the topic of hormones, you want Papa Fresh, Papa She Kept. Um, right now, I'm drinking this. This is the Trizy Collagen Plus. I can show. This is the Trizy Collagen Plus in strawberry flavor. It has fish collagen peptides. It has 9,500 milligrams of fish collagen peptides from Japan. And what's so nice about the small curls, I mentioned this in Patumbler. Um, it doesn't taste like fish. It literally tastes like strawberry. <laughs> And lychee juice. So this is the perfect drink if you want to stay fresh and youthful. Kaya hindi healthy yung kinakain mo. Lava ah, lang, girl. Yeah. Para magmukha tayo mo shikip and fresh. It even has hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, vitamin B3, and also COQ10. Para youthful and masikip para yung skin natin. So we have those glowing days talaga. I prefer drinking this on cold water as opposed to warm. Mas refreshing siya compared to if I drink it on warm water. And the flavor complements it so well on cold water. And I've been drinking this for a couple of days now. I noticed I have more energy. My skin is more elastic because I'm the type of person so dry yung skin ko. My face is oily, but yung katawan ko so dry ng skin. Napansin yun ba yun? Are you also like that? Like comment down below. So this one really helped with my dryness of my skin and also it gives me more glow in my face. So lately, I haven't even been wearing a lot of makeup. Like I'm just wearing a little concealer and I'm good. All right, Marco, so I better shut up. So I have all the sushi in front of me here. Alam niyo Marco, you have no idea na pangarap ko to. Na ko I want to eat. Sushi, yung tipo hindi ako magi guilty. Mama monetize ko pa yung pagkakain ko ng sushi. So don't forget to not skip the ads, okay? Give the bitch some coins while she eats sushi, okay? Alright, Marco, so let me just take a bite muna. Ooh, alam niyo, like, comment down below what's your favorite sushi. Ako, favorite ko na sushi. Ang hira po mire kasi I'm a sushi addict talaga. I really love sushi. Pero for me, kung papa pili ako, I would say I love Philadelphia roll. You my cream cheese. Oh my god. Alam niyo, Marco, so hakata ba talaga to, but bala na. Philadelphia roll, ah, uh, the best. My dick fell off! Mm. <laughs> I love it. And also my curls, hindi ako masos. They have soy sauce and they have mayonnaise, but hindi ako masos. Like I eat sushi directly. I know I'm weird, but that's how I like it. We also have here California maki, California king bed charot. I'm so up. Masarap siya in Paris with the Trizy Collagen Plus. I also noticed masarap yung tulog ko dito with the Trizy Collagen Plus. Okay, actually nagpost ako sa Instagram na magsend kayo ng questions about HRT updates, anong questions nyo. Alam niyo mga girls, if I'm gonna be completely honest, this is probably gonna be one of the vlogs that I feel like magiging vulnerable ako kasi throughout this journey, sa transition journey ko, it's already 10 months. I'm 10 months in taking hormones. It's a lot to consider when you're starting to transition. It's not just you're just gonna take some pills and call it a day. Yan ko lang na isip, like mid transition, like maybe six months in, I've been thinking about a lot of things, like plastic surgery, changing my name. Parang 
hindi ko na isip mga factors niyan. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I never thought of those factors getting into this transition journey. Na parang sa alam niyo mga girls, I feel like this 10 month update na vlog. I feel like it's gonna be my diary. Na it's like me releasing all that. I feel like it's all my emotions and like my transitioning journey self, feeling it all out. And probably this is the most rawest, rawest. Raw is vlog you're gonna see me in because I'm always a jolly person. Na parang I keep making jokes, I make laugh. Ano kilala niyo naman ng walkers? Like parang gusto ko lagi mag-trip, masaya. Well, I feel like this vlog will be a mixture of both because there are things na I'd like to talk about that I never get the chance to talk about on any of my social media platforms. Na it's so deep and I never thought of it, especially in this journey. Like my mental health, my physical health, but everything. I want to cover everything in this vlog, especially if you're transgender and you want to transition, you're just starting. But here are the things that you can expect when you're transitioning emotionally, physically, and mentally, everything. So yeah, I did not expect this journey to be crazy. So I better shut up and let's answer some questions. Habang kumakain tayo, curl, kasi wala pa ako lunch. So the first question is I want to start off first with the basics yung mga paano mag take ganon So we have here this is from Akosif How to properly take hormones mama ho I have my undercore and estrofem here <laughs> So ang sa akin naman how I take my hormones Ang tinitake ko ngayon is estrofem undercore tsaka feron So what I do I take estrofem I put it under my tongue which is called sublingual and then after ko mag sublingual I after 30 minutes that's when I take undercore just 25 milligrams and then feron kasi someone told me na you have to wait 30 minutes bago mag take ng Androcore kasi malakas siya. And then si Androcore, kailangan every other day mo lang siya na take Once, oh my god, chika ko lang. Once, one time, every day ako nag take ng Androcore for two months straight. Oh my god, noong January, February, hindi ko pa kasi alam eh. Parang sumasakit yung kidney ko. Oh my god. So yung pala nalaman ko, kailangan alternate mo siya tinitake. Kunyari, Sunday, nag-take ka na Sunday. Monday, dapat hindi ka mag-take. Tapos Tuesday, tsaka ka lang mag-take ng Androcore. Oh my god, diba? Like, girl, kamusta yung kidney ko doon? Like, ramdam na ramdam ko, ang sakit ng kidney ko. That's how I usually take my hormones. Isa din to, ang sarap. Ito yung may spam. <laughs> Maging mukbang siya, ano lang kaya ako, no? Nag-change the career! Diyos ko, girl. Alam niyo, binibaw ako sa mga nagmumukbang na hindi na tumataba. Paano? And ako lang ba mga girls, hindi ako nauumay sa sushi. Like, I can eat sushi the whole day hanggang sa mabusog ako, pero hindi ako nauumay sa sushi. Like, as in, mas nauumay pa ako sa samgyu. Sorry ha, if you're a huge fan of samgyu. Medyo parang na sa Bisaya, parang nasusumod. Yung ganun, or nauumay ako. Parang I love sushi talaga. Magandang question to. Sabi niya, Don't you feel happy whenever you're taking them? And did it help with your body dysmorphia? Love you, ate. I love you too so much. Yes, I highly agree. Alam nyo, if you want to start taking hormones and if you have body image issues, which I still do, to be honest. I still do. That's why, which I'll be talking about later kung I've been planning about surgery, changing my name and stuff like that. It really helped with my body dysmorphia. Kasi before ako nag hormones, I noticed yung katawan ko is more straight. Alam mo yun, parang palalaki. Like, parang malaki yun chan, walang kurbada, parang straight lang talaga, parang rectangle yung katawan ko. Ever since I've been taking hormones, napansin ko, medyo nagko-curve na yung katawan ko. Hindi ako nagkakabalakang, though I have a little bit of boobs, medyo maliit lang yung boobs ko. But in terms of like my body dysmorphia, like my body issues, it's not my biggest concern. If only like my body issues is maybe siguro I want more. You know what I mean? Parang gusto ko pa magkabalakang more. I want to have a bigger boobs, yung ganon. Kaya ngayon, I feel more confident in wearing like female clothes now kasi yung body shape ko is more towards female. Medyo yung hulma niya mas nagiging babae. So, parang nakakasuot ako ng female clothes lately. Actually, now, not just lately. Kaya sobrang thankful ako na I started taking hormones, which I feel like I wish I could have done it sooner. Na parang sana I, I started when I was like a teenager. Parang I wish hindi nga lang ngayon. So, alam nyo, biggest advice ko talaga, if you've been thinking about taking hormones, for me lang ha, I feel like the earlier the better. So, as your body is developing, yung katawan mo mas like develop as a woman or as a girl. As opposed to parang lalaki na yung physique mo, tas tsaka ka na mag-transition as a woman, medyo mahihirapan ka kasi your body is fully developed. But still, depende naman sa dosage, it's possible naman eh. But like, bone structure, dyan lang tayo nagkakaalaman. Oh my God, I feel so vulnerable na I'll be talking about that later. <laughs> Isa, ayun mo girl! Pero alam mo sa totoo lang, pag nagtitake ako ng hormones, feel ko ang ganda ko. Tas pag naubos na yung banig ko ng hormones, like yung estrofem, pag naubos siya, syempre papahingayin ko yung liver ko and kidney ko. Parang feel ko, tsumachaka ako. 
So gusto ko lagi nag hormones ako. So we have another question here. So sabi niya, pinakamaganda ng yaring experience nung nag-start ka ng hormones, Mama Ho. For me, the best experience nung nag-start ako mag-hormones is Hindi ako masyado natutubuan ng pimples. Totoo yung chase miss, mas kikinis yung balat mo, tapos parang mas magaglow ka. Like, as in, like, if I compare my skin nun dati, ang sarap talaga. Alam nyo, off topic, Philadelphia talaga the best. Ayun nga, pag if I compare my skin before to now, sobrang laki ng improvement ang skin ko, especially nung nag-hormones ako. Para mas glowy, mas fresh, and then mas shiny yung hair ko. Overall, that's what I really like nung nag-hormones ako. Tapos nag-soften yung features ko, mas numipis yung braso ko, mas naging overall feminine yung katawan ko, and my physique is more feminine compared to before na mas masculine siya. For me, yun yung pinaka the best na experience na ever since nag-hormones ako. There are its dark sides and cons, of course, pero for me, mas nangingibabaw yung maganda. So yeah, if you guys want to start talaga hormones, I do encourage you talaga to start taking hormones. Like, go for it, girl. Woo! Go for it. Ang sarap. Lasang strawberry talaga. So we have another question. Sabi niya, how much did the entirety of your HRT journey cost? You look fire, by the way. Hoo hoo. I love you so much. Thank you so much for me monthly. Oh my god, lately hindi ako nakakapagpa check up. Sorry, oh my god, magpa check up kayo ha. To be honest, hindi ako nakakapagpa check up. Pero monthly ang hormones ko is ang. Um, oh my god, na kayo ko na wasabi. Wait, ako lang ba? Hindi ako mahilig sa wasabi. I comment down below if you're a wasabi eater. Because I don't like wasabi. So again, for me, monthly ang hormones ko, Estrofem is 500. Ferone is like 3,000. And then, Andrecore, hindi ako sure kung makano. Basta isang banig ako, tas hinahati-hati ko lang siya. So, parang nasa, oh my god, sobrang expensive. Parang nasa 4K a month ang hormones ko. Yikes. And it's been 10 months, so 4K times 10. You do the math. Yung mayaman yung binibilhan ko ng hormones. Chara. I'll be linking down below kung saan ako bumibili ng hormones. So yeah, you can check in the description box down below. Alam nyo, mahal nga siya. Like, dati parang when I was starting in hormones, parang affordable naman siya. Parang 500 lang naman yung isang estrofen. Mga ganyan, ganyan. And then I realized, now I was like, wow. Especially sa mga nagpapa-inject ng hormones. Like, that's more expensive. Pero alam nyo, I've been considering na gusto ko din magpa-inject ng hormones. Kasi as of now, I'm taking hormones orally. Gusto ko din matry soon yung mag-inject ng hormones. Like, comment down below ano magandang hormones na injection. Kasi gusto ko talaga magpaturok. Like, this year nag-oral ako, pero maybe next year baka gusto ko mag-injection na. So, yun. Comment down below what do you normally use and what's the best one and how much is it? Kasi I wanna try. Alright, so moving on to the next question. I keep getting this question a lot. Like, ever since I announced na nag-take ako ng hormones or nag-transition na ako, I keep getting this question. Sabi niya, pwede po sa female at kung nakakapayat po siya. Um, honestly, I am not sure kung pwede as a female because to be honest I'm not sure I feel like not because you guys have naturally estrogen so if you do it maybe it will worse so yeah best consult a doctor para safe. Pero to be honest, for me, I'm not sure kung pwede. Yun lang sa akin, I just think na hindi siya pwede kasi you guys naturally have estrogen. But of course, you can ask an endocrinologist or your OB-GYN. OB? Basta yung OB, gano'n. Ito, we have a question here. Have you tried injectable hormones na po ba? Even me, hindi ko rin masagot yung tanong na yan kasi like ano mas effective yung injectables or oral kasi I haven't tried it myself eh. So sa mga matagal na dyan nag hormones, is it worth it na mag-inject ng hormones? Is it better than oral? Is it more effective than oral? Kasi I wanna give it a try din eh. So yeah, I've been considering it pero hindi ko alam, alam ano yung mga magandang hormones sa injectable. I've heard Vitusha, ano pa, Pinokinon, ano pa ba yung Penilin. Yun nga, I think that's the best one yung sa Japan. At saka for me, hindi ko alam yung dosage eh. Yung sa Estrofem nga, recommended sa akin na endo ko was two pills a day pero hindi ko kaya like sobrang lutang na lutang ako so I just do one estrofem a night yun lang pero hindi ko kaya magdalawa so injectables let me know what's the side effect if it's better than oral kasi for me I wanna give it a try kasi pag nakikita ko ibang transjoss I'm like wow I wanna look like that you know what I mean I have a question here and my answer might be a bit controversial there's a question here na pwede for minors if yes where to buy and strict po ba pag minor mismo bibi or need po guardian. For me, oh my god, I might get so many hate for this or ito, kinakabahan ako sagutin to. Ino muna tayo na Tracy. For me, to be honest, depende 
ask first the minor if they're fully decided, which to be honest for me, hindi pa rin natin masasabi kasi as a minor, their mind is not fully developed in making big decisions. Pero if that's what they want, if they want to transition from me, kasi the earlier the better eh. Oh my God, don't hate me for this. Pero there are times that I realized I could have started earlier. Kasi when I was young, I, I always wanted to be a girl eh. Ngayon lang ako nagkaroon ng lakas na loob mag-transition. At the age of 20, what, 20? 24, 23. Oh my gosh. So yun, um, if you're a minor and then you want to transition for me, go for it. Because while your body is still developing, at least you're developing as a woman. And you have all that time. My mga friends ako na transgender, they started at 16. Super young. Which I'm like, I wish I did that too. But I just feel lucky lang kasi sa totoo lang. Prior to taking hormones, medyo masculine yung katawan ko, pero it's still feminine. Na minsan napapagkamalan akong tomboy or napapagkamalan akong babae. So, yeah, I just feel lucky at that part na hindi ako masyadong, kumbaga parang, I don't look like a, a man in a wig, yung ganon. For me, as if you're a minor and if you want to do it, and if you have your parents' consent, then why not? If you're gonna order online, hindi naman siya super strict. You can just simply order. Pero still, kailangan ng supervision ng guardian. And of course, doctors. Doctors! Mag-check up kayo na endo. Ako medyo matagal-tagal ako, hindi nakapag-check up na endo dahi. Pero yung dosage ko naman is, sinusunod ko na naman yung tamang dosage ko. So, yeah. Alright, okay, next question. Mama Ho, is it really painful to chest if you're taking hormones? For me, the first three months, oh my God, sobrang sakit. Like, it really, really hurts. There are times na nag feferon ako. Noong February, nagtutupil pills ako ng feron. Ayan, sumasakit talaga siya. Pero as of now, parang hindi. Parang medyo tumutubo siya, pero not enough. You know what I mean? Na parang I wanna get a boob job. So, ayun. Pero I was advised na if you were to get a boob job, kailangan may room yung chest mo before kay operahan. Pero of course, naman magpapakonsult ako sa plastic surgeon before ako magpapaboob job. Para mukhang natural. But alam niyo mga girls, I'm hoping supportado kayo, which ang dami sa inyo nagsusupport sa akin so far. Um, next year, I wanna get work done. Uh, what do you mean my work done? I want to get a boob job. I want to get facial feminization surgery. But I want to go through that adventure na ito yung sinasabi ko maging vulnerable ako eh. I want to go through that adventure na ayoko na maging parang pwede na. Tinitignan ako na ah, oh, you look like a girl. Like, um, pwede na yung ganun. I want to be a woman. I want to be a girl. You know what I mean? Like, I want to look at the mirror one day and then pag nagsusot ako ng damit, hindi ko na kailangan mag-adjust sa damit na parang it will just fit me like a glove because I I'm biologically a woman. Na parang I have breast, I have balakang, I have the waist, yung ganon. And also when it comes to my face, that I don't have to wear like a crap ton of makeup and I don't have to try so hard to cover this just to look more feminine. Though taking hormones, medyo naging feminine yung mukha ko. Pero there are things na oh my god, there are parts of me na na insecure pa rin ako and I feel conscious about it, like my jaw, like my forehead, my nose, my eyes. Ayon, there are parts of me that I'm insecure ako and I wish I could correct through surgery which oh my god chica ko lang din wait la oh my god we'll spill some tea wait lang kaya na muna ako girl which alam niyo mga girls ang galing ni lord kasi noong August I was looking for plastic surgeons kasi gusto ko na talaga ituloy yung pagiging road to babaihan road to android road to ios yung galon gusto ko maging barbie na talaga I talked to a couple of plastic surgeons nakaapat ako ng plastic surgeons okay naman and then I was deciding and debating kung kanino ako magpapa nose job kanino ako magpapabawas ng panga yung mga ganun yung mga procedures let's say yan yung mga, mga plastic surgeons then all of a sudden may plastic surgery na hospital but from Korea, nag message sa akin and they're offering free plastic surgery. And bitch, alam nyo, I feel like, wait lang ha, tubo nga ako ah! Sabi sa inyo eh! Magiging vulnerable ako dito eh! Which I feel like my question dyan about emotional, which we'll get there, pero chika ko lang din. Don't be sad, eat some sushi. Don't be sad, just eat some sushi. Ayun nga, parang I feel like I go to church, I pray, but I don't ask anything from the Lord, to be honest. I pray kay Lord kasi lagi ako nagtitink you kay Lord. Ang isinay ako miya. Pero ano yung feeling na, kahit they said na if you're an LGBT or ako miya, or if you're trans, you're a sinner, I've been looking for 
um, procedures dito sa Pinas. And then, naalala ko, sabi pa yun ng isang friend ko na, sure ka, dito ko sa Pinas magpapagawa. And I was like, and then, may nakausap akong doctor kasi gusto ko siya talaga yung mag job sa akin. Sabi ko, Doc, bago ako magpa-rhinoplasty, gusto ko muna magpa-V-line surgery kasi uh, baka matamaan yung nose ko sa procedure pag inuna ko to, bago to, di ba? Tapos sabi ng doctor yun, di ba sa Korea yun? And deep inside, I was like, ha, sir, I'm not sure if I can afford it in Korea. That's like a crap ton of money. Tapos syempre flights pa and then yung mga stuff like that. Pero yun nga, I don't know anong ginawa ko. I'll also be real with y'all. I feel like sometimes I'm undeserving of the things that I get. Parang bakit ako? Bakit parang ako? <laughs> Pero di seryoso, I feel like I'm so undeserving. Or maybe it's my self-doubt sa sarili ko at the most part. Pero I just feel so thankful na no matter what, you're always there to support me. And no matter what God provides. Kasi, ayun nga. Let me collect myself. Tracy! I love you. Oh my God, I don't want to cry. I told you I'll be vulnerable in this vlog. Ayun nga, may nag-message sa akin na hospital from Korea that they're gonna offer plastic surgery. So at first, sa totoo lang, I was so nervous na parang, yo, baka scam to, blah, 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 blah. Pero turns out, meron naman silang YouTube channel, pinanood ko naman yung gawa nila, sobrang ganda. And I was like, wow, sobrang ganda ng services and sobrang mahal ng plastic surgery. So I was like, Lord, alam mo, hindi ko alam anong ginawa ko. Sila sabi nila, makasalanan maging LGBT, pero oh, hindi mo ako pinabayaan. Na parang, alam mo, if you're just a good person, if you're genuine lang talaga, alam mo, God will provide talaga. Like, I was so nervous din kasi sabi ko, it's not that na mababa yung tingin ko sa plastic surgeon dito sa Pinas. In fact, ang gagaling na mga plastic surgeons dito. It's just that, inisip ko din, syempre, the cost of getting these multiple surgeries done and stuff like that. And the fact that I'm getting it for free, not only just here in the Philippines, but in Korea, which is the mecca of plastic surgery. I'm like, Lord, hindi ko alam. And then I remember, as a, I don't know, like, parang I was like 15 or 16 years old. Lagi ako nanonood ng mga Korean V-line surgery, mga ganun. Sabi ko, one day, mapapagawa ko din yan. Ayun, and then the fact na may offer, and I'm like, wow. Pero, ayun nga, ang problem ko lang ngayon is, as of now, hindi pa open ang Korea, so... Ayun lang. Hindi pa ako makapag-travel. Pero I'm hoping next year, makapag-travel ako to Korea. Sana mag-open na sila. Pero yun lang kumahad lang sa pangarap ko sa facial feminization surgery. <laughs> yung embassy. But anyways, chika ko lang din. Yung mga procedures na gagawin sa akin is a nose jaw, rhinoplasty, zygoma reduction, which is the cheekbone reduction, and then V-line surgery, and fat graft. So, yun. Basta medyo madami-dami yung gagawin sa akin. So, yun. Anyways, sa chika ko lang din. Wala na. Natutuwa lang ako kasi, ayun nga, it's one of my dreams and parang sobrang unexpected and I was like, wow. Parang minsan si God na mismo magpo-provide ng way. So, ayun lang. And so, I'm just thankful na sabi ko, wow. Parang of all places, Korea pa talaga, di ba? So, yun. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the next question. Wait lang, makasubo nga tayo bakla. Nakakaloko. Yun nga, plano ko sana next year nakaschedule na ako sa isang plastic surgeon. Ang gagawin sa akin is yung Joko. But, hindi ko na muna siguro itutuloy for dito sa Pinas kasi they're just waiting for me there in Korea. So, ayun. I'm grateful. So grateful of all places talaga. Korea pa talaga. Magiging uni ako. Magiging opa ako, girl. Gano? Magiging road to idol na tayo, dai. Hindi na pala Android. Idol na pala, girl. If there's also one thing you can take away dun sa situation na yon, yung kwentong yon, alam mo, God will always provide. No matter, let's say, siguro, maybe you're not trans and you're just watching this kasi it's just me. If you're struggling right now or if you're, you've been through a hard time right now, trust me, maniwala lang kayo sa kanya. He will provide. I'm not the most crazy religious person. I don't, like, recite the rosary all the time. I don't read the memorari or i don't do too much religious things i just pray and go to church but trust me god will provide if you deserve it talaga so yun ang galing lang tas alam mo sa totoo lang yun nga tas inasar pa ako ng friend ko na, sure ka dito ko sa pilas magpapagawa which is kind of mean pero hindi actually magagaling mga plastic surgeon dito if pwede nga dito na sana ako sa pinas pero sis kung sponsored lang naman sa korea why not di ba all right so let's move on to the next question what are the significant changes you've noticed to yourself both physically Physically and emotionally. Physically, ayun nga, mas naging soft yung skin ko, mas naging feminine yung body ko. Parang mas nag-iba, parang mas naging feminine yung demeanor ko. Like parang dati, medyo siga ako maglakad minsan. Ngayon, mas sweet girl na. Pero ayun, mentally and emotionally, mentally medyo lutang ako. I tend to be more forgetful. Emotionally, oh my God. Ayan, ito na. In terms of mental health, I get mood swings. One moment, masaya ako. And then, one moment, galit ako. Tapos another moment, malungkot ako. Tapos depressed ako. Yung ganun na parang gusto ko na mag... Ganun. 
Someone told me that it's just mind over matter, so para na sa utak lang yan. But sometimes I beg to disagree, kasi yun nga it's like your chemical component na parang iba yung hormonal imbalances mo. So because, syempre you're taking hormones and then you're suppressing male hormones, so parang nakakaroon ng imbalance. So it it messes up with your chemical, yung parang chemical ng brain mo. So sometimes uh, you can't help it but feel those emotions na galit, lungkot, depressed, masaya bigla ganon. So yeah, emotionally it made me more iyakin. Like, that's hindi naman ako iyakin. Like, oh my god, like, kanina mo, tika, ako umiyak. Pero yun, hindi ako iyakin. And hindi ako soft. Like, pansin nyo, di ba dati sa mga old vlogs ko, pagdating sa mga reviews ko, parang sobrang tapang ko. Like, it almost seems like I'm always angry. Pero I kind of don't like that person. I prefer myself now, though. Kasi parang, ewan ko, parang mas, mas zen and mas calm kesa yung dating ako nung hindi pa ako nag hormones I prefer myself now as opposed to before. So, yun lang. Uh, emotionally, I'm more softer. Medyo nagkaka-mood swings ako. Yan. And physically, no complaints. Alright. So, eh, naghahanap ako ng questions. Subo muna tayo, day. Oh my God, tinan nyo. Sabi sa inyo, eh, maubos ko to, eh. Gusto mo yung platter pang seven people. Seven na chopsticks. Halos ako din pala umubos na ito. Malakas talaga ako kumain. Tinawa kahit nag-hormones, ang lakas kumain, di ba kala? Ito, we have a question. Ilang days or weeks po kayo nag-stop mag-take ng hormones noong nagpa-vaccine po kayo? Actually, noong nagpa-vaccine ako, the next day hindi ako nag-hormones. Mga two days. <laughs> And then after two days, nag-hormones na ako ulit. Gano'n lang yun. Ito, we have here, biggest change you've noticed physically. Ako, the shape of my body is not square or rectangle anymore. It's more parang hourglass na onti, gano'n. Yeah. Ito, we have another question here. Does it shrink? Kahit medyo malaki, pre-transition, I have a friend kasi. <laughs> ah! Para may nakita ako dito. Meron pa ako nakita dito eh. Totoo ba ang chika na nakakapaliit daw siya ng Junjun? Thank you pa siya. Totod. <laughs> Sheesh! Ano ba? Um, actually... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, pati yung yung mga bikini pictures ko para kung pukihan ganon. Ah, uh, yeah, talagang ano, magiging vagina ka talaga, girl. Nado ka sa inyo, oh, oh, totoo yung cheese miss, oh oh, magsisling siya talaga, girl. So yeah, if you're planning to take hormones, ayon. Pati yung pag yung mga ibang trans na bibikini, hindi kita talaga, kasi ayon, nagsisling si ati girl. <laughs> So yun, wait lang. Hoy, pero hindi ko pa siya maubos. Pero alam mo, feel ko, kung idediretso ko itong vlog na to, kaya ko ubusin to, no? We have another question. Do you also experience anxiety whenever you skip taking your pills? Ako hindi naman. Hindi naman ako nakaka- Bitch, ang lakas ng ulan. Like, comment below if you can hear it or okay naman yung audio. So ayun, hindi naman ako nakaka-anxiety kung namimiss ko yung pill ko. Parang sakto lang. Like, Ay, oh my God, hindi ako nag-take ngayon. Minsan kayo, sinasadya ako hindi mag-take kasi tinatamad ako eh. Pero for the most part, hindi naman ako nagkaka-anxiety. Mas nagkaka-anxiety ako sa mga happening sa world. Doon pa ako nagkaka-anxiety. <laughs> sa COVID, ganon. Okay, and the last question is, actually, sabi niya, not a question, mama, pero I adore your aura. Can't wait for Jenny, Jenny. Okay, eto. <sighs> okay. I'm pretty sure hindi nyo alam to, pero I talked about this sa Instagram live. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, bitch, you better follow me, okay? Kasi I talked about this sa live. And sabi ko, if ever, comment down below if okay lang sa inyo. Kasi, I don't know, sometimes I tend to be a people pleaser, which is not good. And sometimes I think about what other people think about me. That's why I'm asking this, which I hate and I should like stop it. If okay lang sa inyo, kasi there's a part of me na I want to live my authentic self. I want to live as a woman and I want to live as a girl. So, I was a woman as a girl. As a transgender woman. There's a part of me that I want to change my name. Ever since like bata pa ako, like five years old, like I swear, like five or six years old, I keep begging my mom na can you change my name to Jamie or Jenny? Pero as of now, I've been thinking of changing my name into Jenny pag nag-transition ako. So ayun, I had people in my life saying that I shouldn't change 
changed my name. I had people in my career saying that I shouldn't change my name. Pero parang there's a part of me na parang it's not that ayoko maging John Ray. I mean, John Ray is such a special name to me. Diyan ako nagsimula and everything. Pero parang in my real life, whenever I go out, tapos pag tinatanong ko anong pangalan ko, pag sinasabi ako John Ray, I get these weird stares na parang, oh, ak akala ko babae ka, ganun. Na parang, oh, it's a compliment kasi I'm female passing, ganun. Pero parang it gets annoying sometimes na parang ganitong instance. There was this... <laughs> oh my God, baka manunod yung joke ako. There was this guy na parang kinompliment niya ako and then I said thank you. For sure, he's just being nice. He's not flirting. And then he asked for my name. Bilang ako naman si Bobo, kinakarir yung pangalan ko, I said John Ray. Tapos, ayun, I got this weird look. Parang ang sama ng tingin niya sa akin and he was like, oh, he was being nice as bigla siya nawala. I mean, Sure, at least I'm being honest that that's my name and maybe dun yun alam na transgender ako. It's not like I've led him on that I called myself Jenny, but still, that was like a traumatizing experience na just because I have a boy's name and I look like a girl, I got treated that way. And that was my first time. It feels so weird after that and I felt so small. And then, being said on like a casual occasion, pag yung mga sales clerk or sales lady, and then pag hinihingi yung name ko, if I give my name na John Ray, they're gonna be like, wait, akala ko babae ka, ganun. For me, it's not a compliment because sometimes I hate na parang akala ko babae ka, ganun, ganun. And then sasabayan pa na, oh my God, you don't look trans. Like, as if being trans is wrong, you know what I mean? Ayun, there are times na I, I've been contemplating of that for the longest time na I want to change my name. Gusto ko yung nag-i-emote ako tapos bigla ang lakas ng ulan, di ba? So, ayun, I've been contemplating really of changing my name and uh, not changing myself, pero improving myself to be more feminine. Na parang, for me lang kasi, I mean, life is so short. I remember I said before, life is long. Pero, yun nga, I mean, life is short, life is long. I want to finally fulfill that childhood dream of mine of becoming a real woman. You know what I mean? And I also remember before, sabi ko sa mom ko na, there was this MMK story Sorry, may nagpa-sex change. Ako, bakla siya nagpa-sex change. Tapos, bigla siya nagpakalalaki. Pero for me, I also told my mom na gusto ko magpa-sex change din ako. At a young age. So, yun. Yun nga, next year, gusto ko siya maging project. Project? Oh, plan? Yun nga, brigada mukha. Brigada katawan. No, but for real, isa sa mga goals na gusto ko itupad sa sarili ko is I wanna transition into a real woman. Hindi lang yung parang I'm just dressing up. Gusto ko na rin maging trans-dressa, ganun. Yung parang like as, in, as a girl talaga. If you guys are gonna be asking about sex change or SRS, to be honest, mentally, I'm not there yet. But, Cosmetically, yung mga facial feminiz feminization surgery, yung mga breast augmentation, yung mga BBL. For sure, and na ako. Like, mentally, I'm ready for it. That's one of the goals na gusto ko talaga ma-achieve is to be Jenny. But I don't know if you guys want me to change my name into Jenny sa YouTube or I'll just use Jenny on my real life, on my day-to-day -day basis. Or I'll just keep John Ray, I don't know. Pero, or should I bring Jenny sa channel? Ayun, yun, napapaisip talaga ako. Like, parang, syempre, we're not getting any younger and I wanna, I wanna achieve one of my childhood goals. Yun. So, I guess it's gonna be a wild ass ride if it happens. Alright, mga girls, so that concludes this vlog of this mukbang HRT update. Nagi life update din siya, surgery update. Alam niyo mga girls, one day, sana no, hindi lang surgery, ah, hindi lang surgery, hindi lang HRT update. Sana like in the future, meron ako yung parang breast augmentation update, facial feminization update. My gosh, we'll get there. Alam mo, I'm just putting it out there na mangyayari yun. And I'm gonna manifest it talaga na it's gonna happen. And if you're maybe a young girl or trans watching and pangarap mo din mag-start mag transition and if you want somebody there to guide you or pagdating sa mga surgeries and you're scared and you haven't seen anyone na you can relate to na who's been there i want this series to be for the younger trans and sa mga baguhan out there maybe you're older than me and you decided to transition it's not too late it's never too late and hindi na sa pagta transition it's never too late to achieve your dreams like one of my dreams is having surgery accompany with transitioning with hormones and ayun I want that dream to happen so I want this series to be but I want to be your biggest sister now you can watch me go through this journey and kaya mo din like, kung ako kaya kung kaya mo din ganon if I'm able to do it kaya nyo din maminsan napapaisip ako na oo baka magiging masakit yung mga surgeries and whatever pero ngayon if you're mentally ready and if you're in that mind space na you, you really want it kasi 10 months na ako nagka-hormones and I've been thinking it for like months and years na should I go for 
for it like parang should i really transition into a girl or sorry a woman i'm like you know what life is like long and short so why not do it diba for the most part it's not that i'm nervous of surgeries and whatever if anything i'm excited like i'm so looking forward for it to happen and of course small curls i hope you found this vlog entertaining and helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and of course small curls very important is to stay mushy cap my mother how's it keep bye girl